this is an example of capturing a 3D model for a terrestrial type of item. A lot of times these can be a little bit trickier to capture uh, because of the distance you are away from the uh, from the object. You can see the photographs here and this was taken with a uh, uh, GoPro Hero uh, 5 and you can see the different location of the photos around this. Now there's a couple of considerations when you do this type of a thing. Um, the first is that the GoPro doesn't hand off any angle information about the camera to Pix4D. So it's important that you try to keep the camera at basically the same angle if you can for what you are uh, for what you're doing. Um, it doesn't have to be but it just seems like it is a much easier way uh, for the program to pick up where the image should actually be aligned. Um, especially on something small like this because on a smaller object like this as you walk around it the coordinates are going to change very very uh, little and because of that um, it, it can be an issue with PIX4D when there's not much movement between those uh, uh, those GPS coordinates as you walk around this. Um, the other thing that you will notice on this is that I went around this object um, about two and a half times and that is important again instead of just doing one 360 wrapping it around again and uh, getting multiple overlaps from the different directions um, can really help out uh, the program being able to stitch everything to uh, together so those two things uh, if you if you do those on a on an object like this a lot of times you can get a, a real good uh, 3d uh, model of it and you can see with this one as I get rid of the uh, cameras here and we get rid of the uh, point cloud you can see the triangular mesh came out uh, came out uh, very good on this this object um, and the uh, ground sampling distance on this is about a millimeter so it's uh, so it's pretty good so you can see that we're able to, uh, to zoom in uh, quite a ways on this and get some uh, get some pretty good um, modeling of it um, of the uh, of the actual object here um, by staying uh, at the same distance away from the target and wrapping around it a couple times so just a few pointers on how to get a, uh, a real nice uh, 3d image for something on the uh, on the ground